Hello and welcome to www.thepopery.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports hub. Of course, Sri Lanka Rugby Sevens team is set to go to Monaco ahead of the Olympic qualifiers. I have the coach of Sri Lanka Sevens team, Matt Turner. Matt, you have been here in Sri Lanka for a quite long time now. How is the preparation? It's going well so far. We, um, we had a 25-boys squad when we arrived. Um, just had to get boys back up and running and it's been a long season for them coming from 15s but they're all excited now to play some sevens again and you know we get opportunity to go to Monaco and show what we can do. It's not an easy task especially playing against Canada who finished ninth in the World Series and of course Germany who's having a very good structure in their rugby and then Uruguay perhaps is that the team we can beat? Yeah we're tar targeting Uruguay um, as our, our team that we feel we have the best chance against um, we are going into the tournament as the bottom seed um, out of all the teams there. So, whatever you know, if we can get a good result in Uruguay and give Germany a push. Um, we're happy with that. Of course, uh, we saw the uh, concluded IRB World Seven Series. So many changes happened: Scotland winning, uh, and then Kenya winning in Singapore, and Sam Samoa winning in Paris. Uh, perhaps, uh, how do you see uh, in in terms of playing against Canada about the Tuskers? I think it's a it's it's one of those games that it's going to come down to experience, um, and I think obviously they've got a vast more experience than us in World Series and events like that. Um, and it's going to be a great experience for the young guys there and get to play against opposition like that. For them, it's a I suppose this Olympic qualifies massive for Canada because a lot of their funding is through their Olympic committee. So if if they don't come close to the Olympics, they they might get some funding pulled. So there's a lot of pressure on Canada. And end of the day, to the sevens, you never know. A couple bounces of the ball and a couple decisions go your way. You never know. Usually, Sri Lanka, before they play for the Asian Rugby Sevens, they used to play pre-matches like Mercantile Sevens and Interclub Sevens. But for this tournament, there's no such preparation. How do you see that? No, there's, there's no preparation for it. Um, the guys have played enough sevens in their time and they're lucky to have those sort of tournaments before Asian Nations. Um, it'll be good, a good tester and it'll set the standard for where our squad is. Um, and hopefully we can learn some lessons and come away with some positives from, from Monaco and kick us on to uh, the Asian nations. How do you see the confidence level in the team, especially most of the players coming from the Asian Fire Nation who went as the runners-up and uh, they're playing here at the sevens team? Yeah, it, it, it's showing in some of the boys. I think it's a completely different game, 15s to sevens, and the boys seem to enjoy the, the sevens environment a lot more. And you know, if you get an opportunity to come up against some great opposition, Hopefully the boys race that to that level and show them what they can do. What would happen if Sri Lanka pull out one win in this uh, Olympic qualifiers in terms of rankings? I, I think it, I mean it, it, it. It'll take us into the top sort of 27 of of, of the world as in an Olympic year, which which I suppose means a lot a lot to Sri Lanka. Um, I, I think we're not we're not looking at it as that. We're looking to improve game by game, and if we can we can pull off a victory, it'd be great for the morale for the boys and. You know, the opposition we have, um, you know, we, we're lucky enough to have quite a, a decent draw. We could be in with South Korea and Hong Kong. We're in the same pool. Um, but, you know, hopefully the boys have a good time, show what they can do, stick to structures, and we'll, we'll surprise a few teams. Looking forward to it, Matt. And also just want to ask you finally, what's your thoughts about the omission of uh, Kevin Dixon, Omalka Gunaratna and Vishwamitra Jayasinghe? Uh, it's it's one, of those, one of those decisions you have to make as, as a coach. Um, you know, there's, there's obviously various reasons why they weren't selected and, you know, they know what they have to do for, for Asian nations and hopefully they, they raise their level their levels to that and push the guys that are in the squad harder and maybe take their place. Matt, thank you very much. Wish you all the be very best in Monaco. Thank you very much. That's uh, Matt Turner, coach of Sri Lanka Rugby Sevens team. Now I have the captain of Sri Lanka 15s and 7s team, Sudarshan and Mututan 3, uh, head of the Olympic qualifiers in Monaco. Uh, Mutu, tell us uh, firstly about the experience that you have in this team. I think this is uh, a very, uh, we have a lot of experience included in our side after a very long time. I think uh, the injuries, uh, there are certain number of injuries as well, but uh, we have got back uh, Fazil Marja, got uh, Roshan Virant, uh, Jason Disanayak, who have played before. And uh, experience wise, I think we are good in that area. It's a once in a blue moon that we get uh, opponents like uh, Canada and uh, Germany, also Uruguay. What do you think about that? The boys are really excited about it and we are hoping to perform at the highest level possible and uh, obviously learn from it and take uh, what we can and move into the Asian series in August.
you were there in the uh, Hong Kong Sevens like two years ago, Mutu, and when uh, Sandun Herat scored that try, the cheer, the fans were cheering the Tusker. So we can uh, expect the similar thing uh, in Monaco as well. Yeah, this certainly because uh, everyone uh, tr uh, treats us like the underdogs, and uh, that's a tag that we carry in international level at the moment. And uh, when we do something uh, really good on the field, uh, the applause come on to us. But you said boys are excited and the, even the uh, coaching staffs are excited. Now, what sort of a mental aspect do you have uh, taken into this team? Obviously, uh, execute the things that we have planned uh, for us as a team and uh, make sure that uh, the game plan is played out on the field and uh, perform well uh, at that level. Do you uh, think you can beat uh, Canada or do you fancy beating anyone because Sri Lanka has nothing to lose on this? Uh, Canada is a World Series qualified team. They are a co co-team in the World Series. But uh, the likes of Uruguay and uh, Germany, I think we can push them really uh, to the extent that we can obviously, we are going for a win in those two games. So uh, let's hope, wait and see. Are you missing any players who did not make this team due to injuries? Yeah, uh, Lema is out uh, for this tournament as well as uh, Gayan Veeratna. Uh, Nigel Ratwata is out from last year as well. So and on route the Wilbur and uh, they'll be hard to replace but we have a new set of players who have come into their places and uh, they'll hope they'll grab the chance with both hands and perform well. Thank you very much. Wish you all the very best in Monaco. Thank you.